Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. If you watched my last video, you might be wondering or questioning why I'm doing a mod to this Jeep after what I said, but an opportunity came up. We bought a lift for the Jeep for $25. It's just, I'm pretty sure it's two inch blocks for the coil springs. I don't want to do a body lift, so I'm glad it's coil springs with shocks and adjustable track bars. So the Jeep is hopefully getting lifted. Hopefully it goes somewhat smooth. The Jeep doesn't seem to be that rusty. So I'm hoping everything kind of goes by easy, but I can't wait to get the freaking 33s on this Jeep and off of the XJ, but we're gonna head over to the shop and we're gonna dig right into this thing and I can't wait. Well guys, we are at the shop, but on the way over here, believe it or not, the Jeep ended up getting a effing rod knock. So on the way over here, it ended up getting a rod knock. And like, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm literally, I'm so irritated. Um, I don't remember if I said in any of my other videos, but the Jeep had to check gauges light for the oil pressure, but it would come and go and it didn't start happening till after we went off road with it. So I just figured it got wet. It was starting to short out and go bad. I figured that's what it was. Well, turns out the Jeep was actually telling me something was wrong. Don't ask me why I never checked the dipstick because I never did. But once I got to the shop, it was knocking and checked the dipstick and there was no oil on it. But My dad threw in some really, really, really thick Lucas oil in there and it has oil pressure. It's not knocking right now. So before we lift it, before we put the 33s on it, we are going to... <laughs> We're going to drive it the way it is for the next week and then hopefully it doesn't come back and hopefully it's all good. And then we can lift it and throw the 33s on there. Well, since we're here and we were supposed to do the lift, it comes with shocks. There's the track bar only. I don't need a rear track bar, so that's just the track front track bar. But there's the four shocks and what looked to be brand new three inch for the front and two inch blocks for the back. But so the Jeep's going to sit level now because right now it kind of sits raked. Um, so hopefully the Jeep doesn't get rod knock. We'll do an actual oil change in it. No synthetic bullshit. We'll use some thick stuff, real stuff. Um, throw the lift on, throw the 33s on there. Hopefully everything goes to plan. And then I definitely want to get into going over all the fluids on the Jeep. But also while we're here, this is a 4BT swap YJ. I think those are 35s. And this thing rolls some serious coal. This thing is awesome. All right, boys and girls, men and women, the Jeep has sat all night and I just want to make sure after the oil sat in there and it got cold overnight that the Jeep's good. So key in the ignition, clutch in. like how long it took to start and how weak it sounded but it's running and it's not knocking and it's not clicking so that's good and it's holding oil pressure so when I first bought the Jeep I drove it eight miles and the check engine light came on for a misfire still has that issue um I took it off road the first week and I had it and that's when it started losing oil pressure. So I figured the sensor was just going bad. I didn't think it was actually running out of oil cause I've only owned it for 
two months now i've put like 1700 miles on it um so i thought that's what the issue was i don't know why i never checked the dipstick for the oil i just didn't i it never even crossed my mind to look at it but like i said we, and i got to the shop there was no oil in the jeep at all and i don't remember if i said this already or not but when i first bought the jeep the oil set was set for an oil change after 5,000 miles and my dad said that they put synthetic oil in it probably and if the vehicle did not come with synthetic oil you should not put synthetic oil in it and that's what they did and this one has 162,000 miles on it it's probably never had synthetic in it and it burned dripped it, I, I don't know where it went but it was completely out within 1,700 miles and within two months of owning it so we put that thick Lucas in there and she's quiet so when i first got it it always had like a rocker tick which the xj does that too so i didn't think anything about it but this always had it and now with that lucas in there it it's so quiet it's scary that it's that quiet because i'm so used to it but the xj or oh not the xj the xj still on a trailer the tj sounds fine for now we're gonna drive it all week back and forth to work hopefully she stays strong and then next weekend we'll lift it but if you guys enjoyed or not enjoyed whatever leave a like on this video anyways if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button because the tj will be getting lifted and if the motor is gonna go on me it's gonna be getting a new motor so you're gonna want to watch all those videos but i'll see you guys in probably a week peace out